This has not gotten uh, much national media attention. Uh, this is a story dear to my heart. If, you know, I'm very uh, focused on Native American issues. But the Midwest floods brought to you by climate change have created a humanitarian crisis on Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. This is from Smith Smithsonian Magazine. Parts of the Midwest have been hit hard by devastating floods, which resulted in at least three deaths and caused more than three billion in damages to homes, infrastructure, and agricultural lands. But on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota, the fallout from the flooding has escalated to a humanitarian crisis, reports Mitch Smith of New York Times. Residents of this vast territory, which is administered by the Ogala Sioux Tribe and is home to around 20,000 people, have been stranded for two weeks due to waterlogged and muddy lands that are in that are preventing people from leaving the reservation and making it difficult for emergency aid to get in. According to Smith, parts of the region are only accessible by boat, helicopters, or horse. The situation was exacerbated last week when water main breaks left 8,000 people without access to water, reports Sarah Mierhoff of Forum News Service. One thing this story leaves out is those water main breaks happen because the white folks north of the reservation released their damn water, knowing it would flood the reservation. Because who gives a damn about those Native Americans, right? They released their dams, and it flooded the reservation. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem visited Pine Ridge on Saturday and told Smith that she had quickly approved the reservation's formal request for help once they were made. The state has dispatched ATVs, a boat rescue team, and South Dakota National Guard troops to the area, along with four 2,500-gallon water tanks to ensure that Pine Ridge residents have access to clean drinking water. But some residents and officials have intimated that help came too slowly. I know that requests for assistance were made early on. Perry Pau Poirier, a South Dakota state rep representative for the district that encompasses Pine Ridge, told NPR's Dahlia Mortada. Though Pine Ridge was not the only area impacted by the floods, which were triggered by heavy rains and rapidly melting snow, that snow rapidly melted because the heat, it was hotter than usual in the area because of a thing called climate change. This is what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is talking about. Which were triggered by heavy rains and rapidly melting snow, the deluge has worsened already difficult circumstances on the reservation. Uh, the... Pine Ridge is among the poorest regions of the country, according to data from the U.S. Census Bureau. Some 43% of its resident, residents live below the poverty level. Alcohol, alcohol, alcoholism has been a pervasive problem on the reservation, many reservations, not just Pine Ridge. And a 2017 study found that life expectancy in the Oglala, Lakota County was lower than anywhere else in the United States. Infrastructure on Pine Ridge has proved insufficient for dealing with the rising water levels that recently spilled over nearby creeks and rivers, turning the dirt roads that run through the area into impassable sludge. According to Mirhoff of Forum News Service, Pine Ridge has just three full-time employees on its emergency management team, which serves all of the 1,000 square mile reservation. Just three emergency management employees. Julian Bear Runner, the Oglala Sioux Tribe's elected president, tells the Times Smith that the tribal government also does not have enough equipment to reach all the residents who need assistance. Quote, if we would have, if we would have had state-of-the-art equipment, if we would have had adequate manpower, we could have gotten a lot done. Speaking to Mayerhoff, State Representative Perrier says Pine Ridge and other struggling reservations are in urgent need of more funding from the federal government. We're in survival mode on a daily basis. When, this, when things like this happen, it's devastating on all different levels. Water levels now appear to be declining at Pine Ridge, but the worst may not be over. According to NPR, the region's temperatures are due to rise through midweek, which could melt persisting snow and lead to more flooding. And unfortunately, it isn't just Pine Ridge. This is from Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe uh, yesterday. The Moro River Valley is experiencing record-breaking flooding on the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe Reservation, voluntary evacuations have been requested by the uh, Cheyenne, Roos, Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe government. Some homes already isolated by rising water and several residents had to be evacuated by helicopter. More rescues are scheduled for today as the river is not expected to crest until the evening, Thursday, March 28, 2019. 
There have been approximately a dozen residences have been evacuated with approximately 50 residences at threat from rising waters. Fog is currently preventing helicopter evacuations in the affected areas. Many residents are refusing to voluntarily evacuate the area with concerns for livestock and property. This past, this past weekend, the Morro River set a flood stage record at 27.7 feet. Jesus Christ. Over the next 48 hours, the Morro River is expected to crest at more than 30 feet. Efforts are in place to build sandbags, to build sandbag dikes around the community of White Horse to protect infrastructure and the community. The Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe is currently gathering resources at White Horse. Currently, the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe needs swift water rescue teams to assist in evacuations. Chairman Howard Frazier has stated, residents in the flood area should take our warning seriously. The river has, been, has never been this high and is only rising, so take the opportunity to evacuate now. You're placing not, your, not just your life, but the lives of those who will try to rescue you at risk. Number one, climate change is causing this flooding, and it's not just on Native American reservations. It's caused flooding for farmers. It's caused flooding from, for working people all throughout the Midwest. So when you have your normal you know, blizzards and, and you know, extreme snow, followed by higher than normal temperatures for this season, you have severe flooding. Well, what happens with severe flooding? <laughs> farms, get, farms, get, farms get flooded. Reservations get flooded. I mean, businesses get flooded. The Republican Party's response? You're elitist, tells Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. You, you people and your Green New Deal, that's elitist. Oh, you and your Green New Deal, you're just a bunch of elitists. You want to get rid of hamburgers and, and um, cheeseburgers and airplanes. They'll only care when the flooding comes to them. That's the only way Republicans will ever care. Same thing with guns. If their kids, God forbid, if Ted Cruz's kids, God, God forbid, were killed in school, maybe he'll consider it. Or maybe it was divine intervention, he would say. These people are all sociopaths. And frankly, it ain't just the Republican Party. Joe Manchin, the energy head of the Energy Committee for the Democrats, he don't care about climate change. He takes blood money from the oil companies and the coal miners. Steny Hoyer, same thing. Dick Durbin, same thing. Nancy Pelosi, same thing. And Donald Trump, what can you say? As president, he has cut money for Native American health care, funding for reservations, on and on and on. But let me think. All right, you have a real critical issue that you could be taking on Trump about right now if you're the Democratic Party. Fighting for the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. Fighting for Cheyenne River Sioux Tribes Reservation. Fighting for vulnerable groups. Some of the poorest people in this country. I did contact Standing Rock. Fortunately, they have not been as hit, I'm told, by flooding as the others, tribes. Well, I'm not seeing any fundraising emails from the Democratic National Committee with fundraising emails to go to these reservations. I'm not seeing, I didn't see Cory Booker mention it in his town hall last night, which I'll cover at some point, but it was a bunch of blabbering and nonsense. But Don Lemon did ask him, were you nervous when you made the first call to your girlfriend, Rosario Dawson? So basically, there's humanitarian crises on Native American reservations. The Republican Party is looking at it and frankly laughing. You know, slight credit goes to the South Dakota governor for doing something. It probably was too late because she's not going to care to help the natives first. She's going to help the white folk first. But at least she did something. And I had a source tell me yesterday that the Pine Ridge Reservation are begging for federal help. And they are being told nothing. They're not even having, they're not really even getting answers from the federal government. Well, why are we surprised? Donald Trump has basically urinated on Puerto Rico. And said, Don't, we're not giving those people any more money. But let's not just call out Donald Trump here. Where is the Democratic Party on these issues? Where is Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer 
on a crisis right now for two Native American tribes, 20,000 people at Pine Ridge don't have the number of Cheyenne River. You know, we send out mini Wachoni emails when Obama denied the permit, but we didn't fight for the people getting brutalized at Standing Rock before then. Democratic Party barely said anything. Elizabeth Warren barely said, didn't say anything. Tulsi Gabbard went and showed her solidarity with Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. Bernie Sanders did not. He, he did do a rally in D.C. in support. But let's be clear, Tulsi Gabbard did more. Democrats are very, were very concerned about uh, the voter suppression against Native Americans in, in, in North and South Dakota because it could screw Heidi Heidkamp, who lost. So they were concerned when injustice and corruption towards Native Americans could hurt their electoral chances. But I don't hear anything, anything, about deadly flooding. People have died. People are hungry. People are thirsty on these reservations. So if the Democratic Party is the party of the working people, well, where are you? Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.